Today we are going to learn how to do a mail merge using both Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. The first things you need to know and what you already want to have done before you go through this tutorial is to have your letter completed and saved in Microsoft Word and have your merge fields with headers already saved and ready to use in Microsoft Excel. Let's go ahead and take a look at the samples that we have prepared using both Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. In Excel I have a very simple five field spreadsheet for this example. We have our first name, last name, company name, address, city, state, zip, and account. I've already saved the document, training sample, and I've put it in my My Documents folder. So when you hit Save As, you should be in your My Documents folder. If you're not, you can always click on your documents and it'll go here. I'll cancel that. You do not need to have Excel open. You just want to make sure that you are done with your fields and all the information that you want is in there. So we will go ahead and close Excel at this time. And we're going to go to our Word document. Again, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to want to have your Word document already completed before you start your mail merge. I find it's just much simpler at this point. I've already saved my document, so if I have to come back here, if I make a mistake, I have it saved at this point and ready to go. So what you're going to do is go up to the Mailings tab. Remember, this is again in Microsoft Word 2007. Click on the Mailings tab. Right here, you'll see the Start Mail Merge icon. Press down on the arrow and go all the way to the bottom to the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. This is the this most simple method, a lot easier for those of us who don't go in here all the time and do one. If you're one of those who, do, who does it a couple times a year, I really suggest doing the wizard. Right here we're going to select letters, but as you can see you can do email messages, you can do envelopes and labels and a directory. So you have a lot of different options that you can merge your information into. Once you have this selected, we're going to click on Next. In this example, again, I've already typed my document. So we're going to use <coughs> the current document that I have selected. So we'll click Next, and we're going to now select our recipient list. We're going to use an existing list, and to do this, we're going to have to browse for that existing list. We also have other options for Select from Outlook Contacts, which is in your address book in Outlook, or you could type your list. If it's not really long, like on my list in Excel, I've only got five uh, different contacts in there. If you don't have a lot, you could do that, but um, otherwise you're going to already have that saved. So let's browse for our contact list. It automatically comes up into the <coughs> data sources. Um, that M Microsoft or Windows has on your computer. Remember in this example I um, saved mine in documents. So wherever you saved yours you're going to want to go to that now. You are going to have to know the name of the document. And mine was named <coughs> Training Sample. Just find it. And this is the Excel, the XLSX. So I'm going to hit Open and it was on sheet one. I didn't have um, anything on my other two, three sheets. Your default when you open a new Excel uh, document worksheet, you have three sheets. So we're just going to select that one. And I'm going to make sure that this stays checkmarked because my first row of data did contain column headers. That was the first name, last name, company name. That way it will know that and use this as my merge fields. Here, say in this instance I decided that out of all of these people Anna was not going to get a letter I could simply uncheck her name and she would not be included in my mail merge. In this one I will go ahead and leave her checked but this is something you can do to identify and go through your list and make sure only the people you want to receive your document do. So click OK. And now we're going to go to next write your letter at the bottom. Now this is where you're able to actually insert your merge fields. So right here I've already got the date, I'm going to return and at the top you're going to see insert merge field in the arrow button. I'm going to click on the arrow button, 
these are my headers that I had in my document. So right here I'm going to want to have the company name first and then you see how it points and does company name and puts my cursor there. I'm going to return. I'm going to go back up to insert merge field. First name. Cursor again is after that. I'm going to space it because I want to space in between my first and last name. I'm going to do a hard return. Come back up to my address. Hard return. City. I want a comma after my city and a space. State. Space zip code. Now in here I'm going to also add a little bit regarding and I want everyone to know it's regarding their account number with my company. Here I've also put dear and I'm going to want to put their first name again. I already have a space so I'm going to just put first name. And then there's my the start of my letter. So I think I have everything I've, I've wanted included into my letter here. My enclosure. So now we're going to preview the letter, so hit next. At this point, I could go through right here. See, I'm on letter one, recipient one. Does so everything look like it's lining up correctly? Go to two. Looks good. Three. It looks like it should. Four. And five. So now I'm going to complete the mail merge by just hitting complete. And I want to, I always choose edit individual letters. At this point, you could just hit print and it would print out. But if you click edit individual letters, it's going to ask you all or select exactly which record. I'm going to hit all. And it's going to open up another document and it's going to have printed. As you can see, I'm on page one. Here, I'm going to go over to the side. Now, on page two is the second letter. Page three is the third letter, the fourth letter, and the fifth letter. Just go up really quick all the way and look down. There you go. And now you've completed your first mail merge.